Seriously, who wouldn't review Back to the Future Part 2 on a day like this? I mean, really. And speaking of Back to the Future Part 2, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to review Back Back to the Future Part 2 with spoilers. So if you haven't seen it, go watch it. But if you've seen it, here you go. Okay, so Back to the Future Part 2 is a sequel to the to, to one of my all-time favorite movies, Back, Back to the Future. But it, is that good? Well, find out. Okay, so Back to the Future Part 2 start, starts out with Marty, his girlfriend, and uh, going, going, going to, ironically, October 21st, two, 2015. And it's a lot different than today's standards. <laughs> yeah, the future is so much similar to this. And But anyway, uh... Uh, and, but then Marty's family is in trouble because he got fired. His kid's going to jail because he joined Bip, Bip Tannen, who's the bully, his bully's grandson, for a robbery. It's, it's kind of hard to explain, but if you've seen the movie, you'll, you'll understand. And, uh, but then Marty acts like a, acts like a, a complete jackass and buys a sports almanac. And then Biff Tannen come, comes across this and he screws up everything in 1985 when he travels back in time. And it's actually a really good movie, actually. As good as the first one? No. But Back to the Future Part 2 is one of those sequels that aren't as good as, that isn't as good as the first one, but it's, it's, it's close. Like H. Ventura 2 and Shrek 2. And, and what else is there? Uh, I watched a movie like I, I just finished a movie like 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 ten minutes ago. Uh, oh yeah, uh, and then Marty has to go back to to nineteen eighty five with Doc to to get the sports al almanac from the nineteen the the nineteen fifty five bit, but then things get get screwed up when when the the present day Biff was just now. Tells him that do not keep this book away from him, and and so Biff keep keep keeps the keeps the book away from Marty, and Marty had to had to get the book back, and Back to the Future Part Two is a really good movie. It's a solid story with good acting and cool special effects. However, is it is it as good as the first one? No, but Back to the Future Part Two is still a decent sequel. Okay, so 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 the final verdict. While Back to the Future Part Two isn't gonna get the first one, it's still one. It's it's one of those sequels that that's not gonna get the first one, but it's close. I'm gonna give Back to the Future Part Two a nine out of ten. Okay, guys. Thanks thanks for watching my my review of Back to the Future. And if you haven't seen Back Back any of the Back to the Future movies, go watch them. But even if you've seen them like me, what's your favorite movie out of all of them? Comment below and let me know. Okay, bye-bye.